Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm talking about the latest Lego minifigure series. This is series 25. Each figure costs the standard five US dollars and it will release on January 1st, 2024. Before I start talking about the figures, I do want to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO Group. However, all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO Group, and the LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO Group of Companies, which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. Now, the regular standard LEGO minifigure series aren't usually my favorite. I really love the licensed ones, you know, Marvel, Harry Potter. Where's Harry Potter series 3, by the way? I think we really need that. I miss that series a lot because series 1 and 2 were so good. But I really like this series. Usually I like a few figures from each series, but I really liked series 24 as a whole. I bought a complete box and I really like this series. So I think, I don't know if I'll buy a complete box because I don't really ever know what to do with the duplicates. And now I'm on a little bit of a tighter Lego budget, but there are the standard, the now standard 12 figures. I still wish that it was like 16 for licensed ones though, because Marvel 12 figures is just not enough there. But 12 I think is perfect for non-licensed series, because I think for a couple of years there, uh, you know, ideas were kind of being burned through. And yes, they are still in cardboard boxes. I saw more people complaining about that. I still think it's a dumb thing to complain about because everyone's acting like it's destroyed the CMF market, but like it's no different. You can just go to Bricklink to get the ones that you want, you know, just have a seller open it and check for you. I do miss feeling the packets, you know, I loved doing that. And that's part of why I actually will not be buying a complete box because I can't feel the packets anymore. Usually I'll buy a full box, feel through the packets, keep whatever I want, and then I'll either sell or give away the rest. But now that we're in boxes, I bought a full box of Marvel series too, because I love Marvel. But for this series, yeah, I cannot do a full box. So that's honestly kind of sad, but it's going to be hard to get all the figures I want from this series. But anyway, let's talk about them. So my favorite is, of course, the Triceratops. I love the Triceratops guy. It's a nice companion to the T-Rex, which I think was just in the last series. I love it when the LEGO group releases like companion minifigures in series. And to me, it just looks really awesome. I love that new headpiece. But of course, the bigger deal is the goat. The LEGO goat is back for the first time in over a decade. I think it was only in that one medieval market set from like 2011. So getting a new goat in a CMF is amazing because I'm pretty sure the goat piece goes for like $40 used on Bricklink and now you're going to be able to get them like en masse in just a $5 packet. I do like the figure well enough but I, I really only care about the goat. Then we have this like Fright Night I think. I think that this is Fright Night inspired with like the headgear. It's like a modern update of those pieces if I'm not wrong but if I am wrong please correct me in the comments. I love this one. Oh I love that the like harpoon piece is being used as the bottom of his axe. And that's just a really cool helmet, a really great shield, and a nice cape. So I'm quite excited for this one, and I probably will get a few of them so that I can army build. I also really like the little mushroom girl behind him. I love that butterfly print that she comes with, and I also really like the new mushroom hat. I like new Lego molds in general for minifigures, like new animals, new headgear, especially new hair pieces. I feel like with the 2024 sets, I've been talking a lot about new hair pieces, and I'm really excited for stuff like that. Speaking of new hair pieces, we have what seems to be, oh, not a hairstylist. This is a dog groomer. I almost thought she was a hairstylist because of that new hair mold, which looks really cool. And she has scissors, but no, there's a paw print. And she comes with an Afghan hound, which is an adorable new dog breed for Lego. A lot of the dog breeds are actually introduced in CMFs for the first time, which is really interesting. But this one is like so hyper specific. I never thought that we would see it. And to be honest, it's cool, but if we're getting into dog breeds this specific, I need a pit bull. Like, Lego, please, please give me a pit bull. Because, like, my dog Thanos, he's a pit bull. You might have seen him in my room tour video, and you can hear him sometimes snoring in the background of my videos. And I would love to get a little gray pit bull with some white patches so that I can have my dog in Lego form. So hopefully in a future series. Then we have the eSports Gamer. I love that she has a rainbow keyboard because honestly, like all of my friends that are gamers do have a rainbow keyboard. I really like this hair color as well. I don't think it's new. I know the mold isn't new. I don't, I don't think the color is new either, but I like it because I think this color came on Starfire in like 2015. Um, I really like her like green lipstick. I like her little mouse pad as well. And she is wearing a like black Falcon Knights outfit. So that's nice. 
and then you have this kid who's like in in a train like it fits around his body that's so ridiculous but so cool i like his little conductor uniform and he's wearing an eye patch that's a really versatile face print um because i i think you know it's really nice to be able to just customize the looks of your minifigures and i also like that new color for his hat as well then it looks like you have a female bodybuilder which is really awesome i love her tattoo it's adorable and no that's not a new mold for the dumbbell it's just one of those like superhero pieces with a round technic ball at the end that's printed and then she does have that brand from lego city the vita rush energy drink so that's pretty cool but i think that this is my least favorite minifigure in the series just because i think it's it's not that unique i mean i like the tattoo and i like the dumbbell but um i mean i'm not interested in bodybuilding minifigures in general and there's no new hair piece or something like that to get me excited then moving up to the top we have the noir detective who looks excellent i love that he's in black and white and he's holding a literal red herring so that's hilarious i mean if you don't know what a red herring is it's like a misdirect during like an investigation or a mystery or whatever like wandavision had a lot of red herrings so i really like that reference and that's a new color for the fish and i love getting new colors for animals then we have oh this is like the paralympic champion because he has two prosthetic legs and I really like his new hair mold, and I do like the prosthetic legs, although you can't really see them in this image. Then we have the Harpy, who looks fantastic and might be my second favorite in the series, because I love the color scheme, love the hair piece. I don't, I, that's not a new hair piece, but I don't know if it's an existing color. I really like the arm printing, the claws. I think she has like the hooved legs, which is really cool. And then there's this kind of medieval warrior. But I think he's using the sword piece from Dreams in a solid color and also has a new hair piece and it's bright red, which I think is pretty cool. So actually, I'm going to go check the description to see if I can identify them. Triceratops costume fan. Love that. Sprinter. Okay, that's what I called the Paralympic champion. Film noir detective. Train kid. Goat herd. I thought it was just a goat, like, farmer or something. Vampire knight. Okay. Pet groomer. Oh, she's a fitness instructor, not a bodybuilder, esports gamer, mushroom sprite, fierce barbarian, and harpy. Okay, so she's a fierce barbarian, and I think we got a barbarian with a fur collar in like series 14, so maybe it's the counterpart to that figure. But I'm probably going to display her and the harpy in my Viking village set, just because that's what I have here in California. And maybe I'll put the goat guy in there too, but all I know is that I really, really want a couple of goats. Um, but yeah, we don't have close-up pictures of each of the individual figures, but here's a closer look at like the Afghan Hound. That hairpiece looks bigger than I expected. I really wish that there was side leg printing or dual molded legs on the dog groomer. I don't love, you know, having the printing cut off on the sides. Uh, this girl clearly has taste because she's holding the best minifigure in the series, the Triceratops, who also has printed arms. That's pretty nice, and I'm really excited for that head. Um, okay, so the Sprinter, there are the prosthetic legs. That One of those pieces debuted in LEGO City, I think, last year, if I'm not mistaken, in summer 2022. But now we have the counterpart, so you can have a minifigure that has two prosthetic legs. And I said this in a recent video, but I love that LEGO is representing more disabilities. I think that that's really important. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't have that kind of stuff in our toys. And as a LEGO fan, I really like these pieces because they're interesting parts. And I do think it makes minifigures more unique and more interesting. So I'm happy to have this figure here and I cannot wait to see what those prosthetics look like in person. The goat looks beautiful. The um, eSports gamer comes with a little trophy. The barbarian also has printed arms and then the, there's like the hooves on the harpy. I really like the harpy. I think it looks super unique. But there's a lot of printed arms in this series. Like, I know dual molded arms are pretty common in CMF series, and I know that we do get a healthy amount of arm printing, but in a non-licensed series, I feel like half of the minifigures have printed arms, and I just don't expect that. The Vampire Knight is really awesome too. My top four are definitely in order, Triceratops fan, uh, Harpy, Vampire Knight, and Barbarian. Those are definitely my favorites. I, I'm, I really like the goat, but the figure as a whole I just don't really care that much about, so that's why it doesn't rank higher. Uh, there's the fitness instructor. I wish she came with like a phone or something because a lot of fitness instructors are like recording themselves and doing like Peloton and everything nowadays. So that maybe would have been like a little bit more modern. Um, but yeah, and then the, the train the train kit is just so funny with that giant, giant costume. If you want to weigh the boxes, then maybe he would be the heaviest because his accessory is so big. 
but yeah overall this looks like a pretty strong lineup i've really liked series 24 and now series 25 so i'm pretty excited to get this you know okay here are here's them all laid out side leg printing even that's pretty nice um a lot of dual molded legs and everything so and yeah just look at the shaping on that triceratops thing Ooh, yeah the barbarian has great printing all around yeah so i'm pretty excited Ooh, wait this tail is printed at the back i guess they did that for the t-rex costume too but i'm just still not used to being able to print on like flexible rubber pieces like that so it's very seamless very impressive yeah i'm happy with this series let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe as well and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.